comes off its mooring because number 21 Posh gets knocked it off intentionally. Now that can be a penalty, but I think what happened is that the referee had blown his whistle first. In the first two games of the Olympics, Granado's shot sails wide. Millen sends it to Scott Busco. Busco then the slap shot off the pass by Young is wide. And a slap Granado shot. Had to hit the bar. Young to Millen. Millen goes down. No penalty call. Rob Booz, the pro-American guy, anyway. Busco to Millen who sends it back out to Young at the point. A minute left in the penalty. Now Granado. Granado to Busco. He scores. Rebound, gets it, but to move it to the side, and there's the slash. What'd you think of that call? I thought it was a bad call. Mike Arruzzioni, what'd you think? Now, I, I know I, I, I may be biased, but believe me, that was a poor call. The goaltender had the puck, he was trying to make a play with it, okay. which means he's, he's game. And he has the puck in his arm, he's trying to make a pass. And all McDonald tried to do is just get a piece of the puck. That's a poor call. Another look. Well, you can see it again. He's just, see, you can see the stick going on the back of his catching hand where there's no protection. On the face-off to the U.S. Richter staying in the net for the moment as Czechoslovakia clears it down into the American end. 105 left in the game. Scott Young starts to charge. Young still with the puck. Comes in to Brian Lee. Lee sends it to Granado. Granado wheels it to Millen. Millen tried to get it to Fusco, and the pass was behind him. Richter is now out of the net, and the U.S. is offside. 46 seconds to play. Now the faceoff is going to be right on the center line. So Coach Dave Peterson is going to send Mike Richter back at least in the direction of the net. He'll stand probably about halfway to the blue line in front of the net and wait to see how the play develops. Six, five, Czechoslovakia. U.S. power play. Richter ready to vacate. Millen, Fusco, Granado Young, and Brian Lee still out on the ice. And the faceoff momentarily controlled by the Czechoslovaks, and now it's to Fusco. Fusco sends it to Millen. His shot is deflected high. Richter out of the net. Two extra skaters for the U.S. Millen with a puck. Circling. Sends it in. Fusco puts the puck it in. He has the puck. Suggeru. Out in front it comes to Brian Lee. He shot glove save and swept away by Schindel with 23 seconds. who had every right to hold on to the, the puck that he caught, decided to try to hit it out with his stick as well. You see the U.S. action around the net. They're just going to be jamming towards the front of the net. Richter out of the net. Two extra skaters for the U.S. team. 23 seconds. Coach Ben Smith, assistant coach Ben Smith of the U.S. team, Millen, backhander, loose in front for the moment, clear to the side. Erdina can't get it out. Slap shot comes in from the point, backhanded by Fusco. He couldn't get good wood on it, and cleared the length of the ice and into the net for a goal. And a tremendous comeback for Czechoslovakia as they cement it with nine seconds to play. A game in which the U.S. came out flying, scored on his first three shots to make it 3-0, with 4-1 at one point, and now Czechoslovakia has softened it away 7-5. Czechoslovakia goal scored by number 21. Well, you can see from the celebrations there what kind of game this has been. It has been a highly emotional game, an incredibly exciting game. And you can just have a sense of how much this game means to Czechoslovakia and how disappointed the U.S. team must feel right at this moment. But Al, earlier on, you were talking about waiting for later in terms of the ramifications. That isn't just in terms of the rules. 
but simply because this tournament is so wide open. We have seen upsets galore. There is no real pattern left anymore. And while this game was seemed to be an essential game for the U.S. team to win, they keep playing this way in other games. They've got a second chance out there. And they will be taking on the Soviets on Wednesday night. When this one is over, the U.S. and Czechoslovakia will be tied for third in this division with three teams eventually to advance to the medal round. So a big, big victory for Czechoslovakia and a most dispiriting and frustrating loss for Dave Peterson and the United States and Mike Richter as well. A night that began so gloriously and with some dismay as Czechoslovakia comes from behind to win it by a score of seven to five. And we'll be returning to the Saddle Dome in Calgary after this message and a word from your Lord. Up ahead on the breakaway, Makarov, he skates in, he shoots, he scores. Biakin missing, and back comes the U.S. We're both sending it up ahead for Millen, and it's poked away off his stick by Gustavov. And then Millen goes into the board. Crowd wants a penalty, they don't get it. Gosselin knocks it down. Makarov gets taken down. And Donatelli, Sends it up ahead to center right. Makara takes over, back to Biakin. To Makara. The Soviet veteran skating in, hounded by Gosselin. Looking for a centering pass. Looking to stuff it in, saved by Terreri. It's too much out of control action around the U.S. net. The Soviet players one-on-one -on -one are beating the U.S. players. It means that it takes somebody out of his regular position to chase and then all hell breaks loose. The U.S. team has to be able to control on the one-on-one. -on -one. And now it's Fetlock. LaViolette is there, and the puck hits the side of the net. LaViolette will break up the play, but Lariana puts it in. Igor Lariana putting it in after Terreri had made the initial save. And the Soviets beat the West Germans on Friday. It'll be the U.S. against West Germany on Sunday in a game that could determine the third team to advance, assuming Czechoslovakia is the second. Right now, the Czechoslovaks have a mark of two and one. So it's complicated, but the U.S. is still alive, and it could very well come down to a goal differential situation where the U.S. might have to win the West German game by, let's say, two goals. Anyway, it's complicated and extended, and as we get closer to it, we can explain it to you. But the, the fact of the matter is the United States team is still alive in terms of advancing to the medal round. There's a little bit of a problem there, and it went between the Soviet player Biakin and the U.S. player Norton. They're exchanging little splashes with a stick, and Biakin went down. And Anthony Koskinen, the referee for Finland, who has drawn the ire of Dave Peterson tonight, attempts to get it sorted out. I think that what Dave Peterson is saying, you watch, watch on the right side of your screen with this little exchange here. And down goes the Soviet player, but what happened during that exchange Fetisov, the Soviet captain who was on the bench, came out to argue but then stayed on the ice. And Dave Peterson's argument is that the change had already been made and Fetisov should be back on the bench. U.S. team with the extra skater. Millen on the faceoff, gets it back to Young. And his last shot is kicked aside. Makarov gets it up ahead to center ice and Young collects it with 24 seconds. Zuggerud to Fusco, drop past Granado and another save. And the puck winds up going into the net, but there will be no goal. No goal because Koskinen had blown the whistle. No goal. I'd like to see that again, but I do think that, in fact, the goalkeeper Milnikov 
had possession of the puck, had it under control. The referee had blown his whistle, and it was simply with the U.S. team charging the net that the puck got dislodged. We can see the shot from Granado. Amunikov has it. He's in control. And it presumably came out of that exchange there between Norton and Milnikov. You can see Mil Milnikov in good control. He knocks Milnikov, or Norton knocks Milnikov back into the net. The puck goes loose. Pro U.S. crowd chanting something you'd only hear on Howard Stern show tomorrow. He can't tell you about it. 16 seconds remaining in the game. Seven to five. The there Soviets you, on top. Here you can see it again. Now Milnikov, with the slow action, it's very hard to tell exactly how long Milnikov had the puck, but you could see that he was in clear possession of it. But that's the sort of play that the U.S. team needs to make under those circumstances. You go right to the net, right to the goalie. Now that I'm a retired goalie, I can say that very easily. But at the same time, that's exactly what you need to do. And you heard Peterson say, well, they got a cheat to win. It's frustrating for Peterson, for the team, the U.S., with a couple of comebacks tonight, but they're going to come up short. And go into action on Friday with a record of one and two. Milnikov makes the save, and I suppose that's appropriate because he kept them in in the third period. And the game ends with a scuffle, and that would be predictable. The game is played one. with such high emotion. And the U.S. team, after coming back, came so frustratingly close but they just kind of lost it there a bit at the end. I think what's happening at the moment is that the Soviet players are largely trying to stay away. They, they realize that a fight under these circumstances can not only, even though the game is over, it can result in suspensions from, from games that are coming up and a very heavy price to pay in such a short tournament like the Olympics. A lot of wet fish handshakes in this line. But now that things have calmed down, the two teams, as is customary at the Olympics, congratulate each other. Dave Peterson has watched his team fight back all night off that, skating alone one-on-one, -on -one, and he has it saved by Richter. That's it, you get one shot, no chance for a rebound, and it remains one to nothing. Well, as you can tell from the reaction, it is almost like the U.S. has scored a goal, and emotionally, that's how the team feels. Mike, right here, you see it again. Richter goes to his backhand. Richter... Fisher skates in. Rutger couldn't get his stick on it for the deflection. West Germany will be advancing to the medal round, along with the Soviets and Czechoslovakia out of this group. Point blank shot saved by Richter, and it's over. West Germany has won it by a score of four to one. And West Germany in this preliminary round is four and one, and they will go into the middle round with two points by virtue of their victory over Czechoslovakia. So the Soviets carry in four points to the middle round. West Germany.